Walter Hughes would tell you that the only thing worse than meeting the enemy face to face is meeting the enemy and not realizing they are. A paratrooper with a 504th 82nd Airborne, Walter and others from his unit were now landlocked infantry legs fighting the Germans in what became known as the Battle of the Bulge. Sent off to perform an additional resupply duty, the men had an experience they would not soon forget. We were in a holding position, and we needed ammunition, food, and that. So three of us were sent back to the rear area, and we loaded a sled up with food, and we started back toward the company. And it was snowing. It was heavy snow. It was about three feet of snow on the ground to begin with. And we came down this fire break, which we thought was heading toward our company. And we saw three figures in the snow. I, I yelled out, uh, what company are you guys from? And we heard German voices answer us. And I said, holy shit, they're Germans. <laughs> I went to push the safety off my tummy gun and I eject ejected the clip in three feet of snow. And instead of pulling one out of my belt, I started digging in the snow for the clip. I was almost panicky, and all of a sudden my ears were being blasted by 45 M1 rifle, because Billy Hicks and Lee Johnson had started shooting at the Germans. Uh, they were successful in driving them off. They didn't hit any of them, and the Germans didn't hit us. But we did acquire another sled full of blankets, food, and stuff like that. Some of the blankets had bullet holes in from Lee Johnson's M1. <laughs> Outside of that, nobody got hurt. 